Good afternoon. Welcome to Talks with Tony. So today I have joining me a brand new um, employee. He's been here with us. This is your third week. Mm -hmm. All right. Manny Toscano. Yes, ma'am. All right. I got it right the first time. <laughs> Manny is a new um, bilingual residential advocate. That means we'll be working at our shelter providing advocacy services to our adult clients. So yes, we do have men to work in our shelter program. We are an equal opportunity employee employer <clears throat> and so for us it's just really important um, for a long time we've had a mandated position that's um, sponsored by the SCORE Foundation that is um, owned and operated by Jason Witten that has supported a male um, a mentor in our shelter and that position directly um, serves to uh, with our children but Manny is a new position for us um, applied for the job Tell us what brought you to Friends and Family. What was made this position interesting to you, Amy? Um, So it was kind of more of a personal thing as far as uh, kind of the experiences that I had growing up. Um, you know, I grew up in a very poor area, kind of your typical, you know, uh, it was impoverished, there wasn't too many resources, and the resources that there were available, we wouldn't know about them because they weren't necessarily um, broadcasted towards it, like for us. And so kind of a little bit a little background as to why I joined kind of the domestic violence aspect of this is, uh, is because I mean, it was kind of a personal experience as far as my mother being abused and me having to witness some of it and always wondering like what I could have done, what I should have done. And so, you know, moving up to North Texas from back home, um, I got wind of this agency and it kind of uh, struck a personal note for me and kind of influenced me to, you know, do everything that I couldn't do as a younger kid, but now can do and will do for my clients. What a powerful way to um, kind of honor your mom's struggle and what she mm -hmm. experienced that you want to help other women and children to have a different outcome. Definitely. So, you know, that's pretty amazing. What's, uh, what's your educational background mean? Uh, so I have a bachelor's in social work. Mm -hmm. Yay, for the social work team. That's me too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be working towards a master's in social work All as well. Right. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Grad school can be done. I yes. just went back to grad school and finished myself in December mm -hmm. after a very, very long time of being out of school. I graduated with a BSW in 1990. Mm -hmm. So um, going back to grad school was quite a struggle and still working. But you can do it. You can make it. Yeah, so appreciate it. I need welcome to, to the team. <laughs> I think uh, Manny's officially employee number 57 for us here at Friends of the Family. So that just kind of gives you a little bit about um, Manny and talks to you kind of about the, the depth and the grasp um, of the services that we provide here at Friends of the Family. So if you want to, maybe you want to volunteer at the shelter on our crisis line, um, then you can come over and work with Manny and the rest of our shelter staff 24 hours a day. So if you think you don't have time, just like that little window you have at nighttime, you know, like midnight to two, you need something to do, come on over. You can volunteer with us. Reach out to Alicia Froyle um, or go to our website, dcff.org, and click on volunteer information. I hope that you all have a wonderful and safe holiday weekend, and thank you for tuning in to Talk With Tony.